James. Why did I say James? My name is Seth. We're talking about James today. I hope that's where they put the intro thing in. What's up? My name is Seth uh, Tomboli. I am a pastor here at the GLR campus. I work with high school students and I love what I do. Um, so much fun. Today I get to share the word with you. We're going to be in the book of James, as I mentioned before. Um, sorry, it's, you know, it's the end of the week and whatever. So uh, in chapter one in James, there's a really powerful passage, and, and I'm going to read a couple different scriptures. I'm going to emphasize the middle and last one. It's verse 22 through 25. It says, do not merely listen to the word and, and so deceive yourselves. It says, do what it says. Check. Okay. Anyone who listens to the word but does not do what it says is like someone who looks at their face in the mirror and then after looking at himself goes away and immediately forgets what they look like. Chapter, or verse 25, it says, but whoever looks intently into the perfect law that gives freedom and they continue in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in all that they do. I, I want to emphasize the mirror part. I don't have a mirror, um, but I do know a guy named Amir. <laughs> um, church joke, stupid. Okay, I'm sorry. Uh, this is the, the champion belt for winning the Collide Wars. Um, and I, I am unashamedly making a plug. Collide Conference Student Ministry um, is, a, is amazing. And we do several events throughout the year. Come be a part of this. We won this at Collide Camp. Blue Squad, where you at? Okay. This is the only thing that I could see that shows my reflection. So I just figured I'd use it because I didn't want to go to the bathroom. It would get weird really quick in the mirror in there making this video. Okay. So if I look in here, I can see what my reflection is. You see, like I can see my reflection and it's saying that literally like looking at the word, hearing what the word has to say about your life and you and what you're supposed to do. It's like looking at that, throwing it away. I hope I didn't break that. Whoops. Um, it's like going away and forgetting what you look like. Or uh, another way to put it, it's like looking into the word and seeing what it says about you and forgetting what the word says about you. The truth that's in it, the things that God says about you. And, and as I read this verse, it, it really puts it together in that last verse in 25. It says, but whoever looks intently, intently into the perfect law that gives freedom, it gives freedom in your life. It says, and the, they continue in it, not forgetting what they have heard, but doing it, they will be blessed in all that they do. I know for me, man, I want to be blessed in all that I do, but it requires me not just reading and listening to the word, but doing it. And so the thing I want you to take away today, um, don't go in the bathroom and look in the mirror and stay, and stay there too long. And, and that's not what the word is saying. The word is saying, don't just come to this. Don't just come to God, get all this awesome wisdom, knowledge, discern all these things that he wants to give you and then go away and forget completely about it and do nothing about it. There's nothing worse. I talk about this a lot with our students. There's nothing worse than a person who talks a big old game and they don't do nothing about what they talk about. You know, you know somebody like that. I've been a person like that before. I, I believe we're supposed to come to this, the, the perfect law, the word. This is God breathed. This is the only thing that is not changing on the face of the earth. Everything else is changing. The phone you're watching this video on needs an update tomorrow or maybe right now. That's why you get that notification over and over. This thing is not changing. It is God's word. He breathed this. I want to encourage you to lean into it, but don't just lean into it when you read it, apply it to your life. It's saying if you do this, then you're going to have a blessed life. Um, it's not all going to be perfect. There Struggles will come. There will be things that will be hard, but man, you will have a blessed life. Why? Because I applied this to my life. And I can tell you personally, for the last eight years, I've been doing it and it has completely changed my entire life. I want to pray that it would do the same thing for you. God, I pray for whoever's watching this video right now, God, that they would be encouraged, they would be motivated, they would be motivated to change, not God in their own strength, but your strength, God. Whatever they're going through right now, would you would you remind them that they are not too far away to be used by you? God, encourage them to get into your word and to apply it to their life, to do the things that it says so that they can have a blessed life. In Jesus' name, amen. Love you guys.